as a reaver here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to farm humanity, well, the easiest method in Artorius of the Abyss DLC. Um, this is probably the easiest method I've ever seen so far. Uh, what you're going to need is, well, what would work best is a covetous serpent ring, which obviously boosts item discovery. And what I'm doing here is putting, uh, getting 10 man uh, humanity because uh, that will increase uh, item discovery to the max as well which is 410 uh, well let's, let's just hurry this up quick uh, well this has worked quite a lot for me the best run I've had I've got about 5 humanity on uh, my first run and they usually drop like at least 2 humanity each run maybe they'll drop a twin humanity uh, uh, you can farm this before you fight the boss or after you fight the boss, it doesn't really matter, the enemies will always be there. The enemies you're looking for are the humanity looking like enemies. Um, there's not much to say, to be honest. Just get through this area as best you can. Be careful when you're fighting them, obviously when they touch you, they, you're going to do tons of damage to you, which I found. It gets quite irritating because you can't block these attacks, there's nowhere to block them. So you can see there where I just look, those enemies. There's quite a bit of them, so don't let them overwhelm you, because if you do, you kind of screwed. As I said, they do deal quite a bit of damage. And on the left here, watch out for this guy. He gets me all the time. To be honest, it's quite irritating. Just, just uh, such a bother wait for him to drop like that. He's got a cheap shot at me. Okay, see, like now, they're going to overwhelm me. And I don't know why I took an Estus Flask at that point in time, which was a pretty stupid move. Even the lower ones, I'm not sure if the bigger ones do more damage than the lower ones, but as it seems, they all do equivalent amount of damage, and they can take a toll on your life. Just don't let them overwhelm you. As you can see, I killed one, and it's already dropped to humanity. Uh, if you get a chance, just use an Estus Blast, and you should be fine. But yeah. Okay, let's get to this enemy. Okay. Um, yeah, we picked up a humanity. As you will see later on, a bit down the line in this video, I did die. I'll show you er which areas to take, which will be the safest route. The route I'm taking at the moment is not the safest route. There's a high, high chance that you will die. Because I don't know why I never learn, I always die at, at that point in time. As you can see, you dropped another humanity. Uh, if you don't have the this this farming method mainly applies to the PC players so far, but if you don't have it, there's obviously other methods such as the rat method and in the depths and in Tomb of the Giants, the baby uh, those skeleton babies. As you can see, dropped a twin humanity there. Okay, this is the worst possible route to take that you can imagine. Uh, if there's two possible the way you're going to die here, as I just did now, get overwhelmed by enemies and then you die, or you can fall off the cliff to the right, and falling off the cliff to the right has been my main death. Okay, yeah, I've revived, um, I've, as you can see, I have to put humanity again, sorry, I have to go through this, cover the serpent ring, ten humanity. Once I'm done here, you'll see that I'll show you the item, uh, item discovery. The max is 410, so don't qu don't keep putting on humanity, hoping it's going to get higher. The max humanity that's going to boost it is 10. Obviously, for this area, it can't be... Okay, there you can... I don't know why I went down so quickly there. As you can see in the, the right side, above the attunement slots, I think this is 410. Uh, I would choose a very uh, lightweight armor set and hard defense shield for this. Okay, never mind the shield because they're obviously going to get through your shield no matter what. Just uh, so you can roam around pretty fast so the enemies don't overwhelm you and you can get out of tight situations very fast. And just fast forward the video for you now. At first I thought I wasn't going to get much humanity on this run, so it was a bit disappointing. But the last run, uh, one of my best runs I had received about 7 humanity and one twin humanity, so that's t 9 humanity in total. 
so that's pretty good, I'd say. I, I've, to this top date, I've had no luck farming humanity from those uh, uh, skeleton babies, so, which was a bit of a disappointment. Okay, this route, as you can see there, I jumped off that ledge. Uh, if you just rewind so you can see that I, was, I forgot to slow down that part. Because this is the safest route possible. And this is the route to, if you're afraid of spoilers, Bucky is now, this is the route to Sif. So rather, so rather take this route, it'll be a much safer route, as you can't be that overwhelmed by enemies. They have picked up already 3 humanity on this run, or 5 humanity in total, including the twin humanity. Okay, that was an epic fail on my part. So far, I've, I've gotten to about 7 humanity in total. Eight now. And that was the last enemy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it proves to be helpful. Uh, that you can see my humanity. Uh, like, rate, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps.